How's everybody doing? I'm Zach with Blades LLC. Behind me here, we have the Boss XT. This is a five foot full functioning hydraulic V plow designed for ATVs and UTVs. This thing is a rock star when it comes to moving snow. We use it commercially on sidewalks. Just purchased it uh, a few weeks ago, so really new to us, but it's been great so far. First thing we're gonna do is we're gonna talk about how it hooks up to the four wheeler and we'll move on through you know the functions and what we think of it so let's get into it alrighty so down here you can see it's a very simple on off operation to take it off the four-wheeler what you do is you pull on this pin here and this pin here and that frees it from the frame and then there's a plug back in here uh, power ground and then this is your uh, wiring harness that goes to your controller the mount that hooks onto the frame is very simple too if you want to do it yourself it's down here I'm not gonna take it off right now but um, there's a u-bolt on each side and then a bolt that you're gonna replace with a little bit longer of a bolt that goes through right there and there's a bracket that's gonna sandwich on top of the frame you're gonna run your bolts up through the bottom very self-explanatory there's three of them there so you shouldn't have to pay anybody to do this and uh, we'll go through the wiring real quick here too so here's the plug for the controller power ground right here and they're just zip tied in here because I haven't permanently found a place to mount this yet or a place where I'd like to but I ran it through um, there's some zip ties in here uh, all the way up underneath if you go up into here we'll open this the hood here so if you remove these four screws here uh, this part will come out as well as this and you can uh, bundle that wiring up inside there you'll run it up through uh, this plastic and out to your controller very simple controller here up down you know push it up it'll lift it I ran a video clip of that so you can see how all that stuff works uh, your left and your right wing there and then I forgot to mention that under the hood just about slipped there and died <laughs> there is a wire that needs to piggy tail into it's a tap a fuse you need to go into an accessory panel uh 20 amp very simple to do just forgot to mention that on the back here we have 350 pound bags 150 pounds of weight for traction so yeah it, it does squat the front of the four-wheeler quite a bit so we're gonna have to update these to heavy duty springs not the end of the world uh, it sure beat going out to buy a skid loader this year with the uh, crazy prices we paid, I believe, $3,600 for this plow. I did all the installation, so saved myself some money there. It actually came off out of that box right there. Now, the 570 here, does it have, does it have enough power to do it? The power, I believe, is there. We haven't pushed it through a lot of snow yet, but I feel like there's enough power with it. I feel like if anything it's the size of the machine that kind of holds it back now i i believe even on like the 850s and the even guys out with the thousands i've seen upgrade their springs so the spring i believe is kind of a must because these things weigh i believe around 250 ish pounds uh, don't quote me on that i could be wrong but obviously you're gonna have to up the springs even in a pickup truck with a plow on it you should um you know lift it a little bit give it a few inches so at least level the truck so we're going to do the same with that uh just not there yet but yeah it's there it's been doing a really good job it pushes snow really good i've been highly impressed inside here is your hydraulic pumps your hoses come out of there and yeah it's really really been a great plow but if you want to see more of it Definitely uh, check out some of our other videos. Uh, we have some footage from it already, but we're gonna move into uh, some more of it this week here. We got some snow coming. I think it's gonna be good. 
we'll probably have a good amount to plow with it actually so we'll really get to put it through the ringer put it through the test and uh, it should be good but yeah follow along with us we'll keep you updated on it see what we do see what we need to um, modify to make it a little bit more functional a little more easy to use and I hope you guys are all staying safe and having a blessed year so far uh, we haven't had a ton of snow here in minnesota it's been brutally cold coldest in like eight years so pretty tough there but we're gonna keep trucking along here and making some snow money so we will see you guys on the next one god bless talk to you on the next one